Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and another video here. Today we have my monthly collected haul as per usual. Um, this one's going to be for the month of October, obviously. And we have, we have a lot. So let's just hop right into it. It's not even all here and I have uh, too much. So just grab a snack. All right, let's get into it. So first thing I did was at like 1 a.m. on October 1st, I placed my first Cadillac order and I got only two. I restrained myself because at the beginning of the month I was like, oh, we're going to be good this month. I was wrong. I, I'm a liar. I lied to myself. But um, I got Mascot, which is this really, I don't even think it's reading on camera that well, but it is vibrant pink. I almost said violent pink. Um, it's really bright and it has these really insanely bright blue glitters in there. Like what I mean by that is like, they look like they're glowing. It looks like a glow in the dark kind of a thing. And I was really impressed by this because I saw the swatch pictures and I'm like, it can't really look like that in real life, can it? Well, it does. It is like the glitters show through the base so well, which is not something that I'm used to with uh, Crelly glitters that much because Naturally, the Crelly base tends to obscure the glitters a little bit. That's totally fine. That's the nature of the polish. But I didn't expect these to be so noticeable in the uh, base. And so I'm excited to wear this one. I've only thrown it on the swatch stick, but I was already like, wow, okay, this one's great. And then I also picked up Stygian, which is a... It's almost black. I want to say it's like a really dark gray, but what is black if not the darkest of grays, right? And it has red glitter running through it. And then it is a thermal. And I don't usually buy thermals. I broke my rule this time because the cold state, I'm fine with it. I think it looks fine in the cold state and I will continue to wear it after it dies. But I just had to have this one. It was really cool. I did wear it. I will pop up pictures over here. And um, when I first put this on, it was kind of funny. I thought it was dead. I thought it arrived to me dead because it wouldn't change color. And I was just like, why won't this change? I just spent like, I don't even remember how much these were. I was like, I just like, I spent a lot on these and I waited a long time for them to come because um, I'm impatient <laughs> and they're not working. They're not working. And then I was like, maybe my hands are just too cold. So I turned my oven on. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't just turn the heat out of my house, but I literally turn the oven on and I'm like holding my hands over the oven and they start to change and I'm like, oh, I'm just freezing. Okay, makes more sense. And so this one I would definitely recommend to anybody who's into thermals. I think it's really cool. I was definitely impressed. Next, I made my monthly polish pickup order and I picked up four. I think that seems to be my kind of sweet spot is four polishes. <laughs> and I first put the Bees Knees Lacquer polish in my cart. This was the one that I was like, I have to have this above anything else. This is Guishin, it means ghost in Korean. And um, this color is, I can't even describe it. Like, I don't know how to get through to anybody what this is because I don't even really know what it is. It looks like it could be like yellow or a lime green, but it has a purple, tone in there as well. I don't even know where I'm going to put this on my swatch sticks, but it is really cool. It's interesting. It's definitely never going to see anything like this again in my collection. So I'm happy I grabbed this. Um, KB Shimmer's Rise Up was another like must have for me. It's this really cool blue, like almost like a cool navy blue. And it has these flakies running through it that just look like fire. And I don't know, like the flakies kind of remind me of a like phoenix and the blue just is just, the way it offsets, it's like, it's almost like looking at, we're back to leaves again, but the, the changed leaves on a tree against the dusky evening sky. And so this one was really cool and it just shows up really beautifully on the nail. We also got uh, Moo Moo's Signatures. This is the first time I've purchased a Moo Moo Signature. And this one is called, Have You Seen a Moo Maid by the Sea? This is just like a really fun, jam-packed rainbow flaky. And I thought the name was cute. And I try to try like one new brand every time I make a purchase. So I was like, all right, that'll be my one new brand. And then I ended up making another purchase from Alchemy Lacquers. 
um, during this polish pickup. And this one is called Snowman of the Mountain. And it is a purple with uh, like blue and kind of like purple and like, what would you call it? It's, it's like a reddish color flaky in there as well as some like black flakies and it looks really cool as well. And I think the theme was like something like monsters or something like that. And then this upcoming month's theme is gonna be, I think, games? And I've already seen like three polishes that I want, so trust me, it'll be in the next haul as well. Okay, then I got my Maniology box in. This one, um, it was like Autumn Vibes, and it just has a couple of, I haven't used this one yet, because I wanted to wait till after Halloween. But it has um, these really cute scarecrows that you can kind of like assemble together. They have like different hats, faces, bodies, legs. They have a lot of like leaves, um, just like pumpkins and gourds and things like that. So I think that these will be fun for once Halloween is over because I don't like to do the more, I call it like the more Thanksgiving-y fall and then you've got like the Halloween fall. They're like two distinct separate parts of fall, you know what I mean? We're not to the thanksgiving -y fall yet, so these have to wait. And they came with non-latex cuticle tape, and they have cute little fall designs on them. Um, you don't really need designs on these, they're just gonna get messy, but they are cute, and I do use these from time to time because I have a latex allergy. Uh, however, uh, I have purchased some in the past from like cheaper, places and although they said they were latex free I'm pretty sure they were using latex tape because my whole hands broke out so that was fun and it came with two polishes we have chestnut which is like a metallic brown it looks like it almost has like a green like flip in it which is cool and then we have pistachio which looks kind of like either like a really ruddy yellow or like a nasty olive green either way here for it and I think that they look pretty good together and I think that they will go well with the stamping plates so that's a cool one I did end up uh seeing the spoilers for next month's box it's like Aloha Christmas I skipped that box <laughs> I'm not a big Christmas decor decorating person it's just not my thing and I'm also not like a huge like tropical person so when you're putting like tropical and Christmas together. I'm just like, eh, it's not for me. Maniology is, I believe, located in Hawaii, so it makes sense for them, but here, like, Christmas just looks very different, so I just, it didn't suit my taste, and so I ended up skipping that box. And then I started to get some really exciting emails at this point in the month, um, and the first one was somebody from Beyond Polish reached out to me, and said that I should sign up for their ambassador program and I did and got accepted. And so I was really excited about that. And to celebrate, I ordered a couple of Cirque colors from them. I got Dove Jelly, which is a gray jelly. And then I got Olive Jelly, which is a green jelly. I, the names are self-explanatory, you guys. <laughs> but I uh, got my code and it is mediocre. So if you guys want to shop using my code, you will save 5%. And I do gain a little bit of commission from that. And I just wanna say thank you. Uh, I've already had a few people use my code. I really appreciate that you guys chose to use mine when you made your purchase that time. I think it's really kind of you guys to support me in that way. And I'm just really excited to get more opportunities like this going forward. Okay, and then I put that I got this in October, but did I? I feel like I got this in October, but maybe the month has been very long. Um, Polish with Ray was doing a de-stash, and she had Bees Knees Locker Heisenberg on there, and I'm a huge Breaking Bad fan. I watched it with my dad, and honestly, I feel like my dad kind of looks like Heisenberg, so <laughs> I was like, I gotta have that one, and it's Bees Knees Locker. So I feel like probably I've already said all this before. If I have, just let me know because I, I swear I've hauled this already, but maybe I was just doing YouTube in my head and, and I feel like I'm confusing them. But yeah, it's like a, it's like a ruddy orange, maybe a brown. Some of these Bees Knees Lacquer polishes, they are like the coolest, most interesting colors and finishes, 
But the second you try to explain what they are to anybody, you're just like, I don't know what color it is anymore. So <laughs> that's one of the cool things about Bees Knees Lacquers. They are very unique in that way that the way that they utilize their finishes and colors is just not like a lot of stuff out there. And I really recommend that anybody who wants to try them, you know, hop on it because I know that they're going to be closing soon. So just get a few just to check them out because they are really worth it. Okay, and then there was an evening where I was like home alone. I was just really bored. I was texting one of my friends and I was like, I'm going to buy some nail polish. What brand should I buy from that I haven't bought from yet? And she was like, if you haven't tried ILMP yet, you really should. And I was like, man, you're right. I really should try ILMP. So I placed an ILMP order. <laughs> I got six polishes and I have already worn one of them, but they are all really cool. The bottles are weird. They have this like little like foot or like lip at the bottom. And um, the cap has their uh, logo like embossed or like it's raised up. And they have those like soft touch caps. They just feel really fancy. Even the packaging when it came felt like you were unwrapping a really nice gift. So that was pretty exciting. The first one I got is Holly, which is a really dark green hollow. And I think this will be a really cool like Christmas one. Maybe I'll do like Christmas tree nails or something and do something with this. I think this would be a good color for that. And then this one I was really excited for. This one has actually been on my list for a little while. This is Paradox Hollow. So like they have like a regular Paradox and then the hollow one. And it's really, I don't even know how to describe this guy. It's just got like that really light hollow in there, like really fine hollow, I guess I should say, with these flakes that really lean purple or green. And they kind of remind me when I look at the colors, kind of like a Mardi Gras color scheme. And it's just really gonna be a cool topper. I bet this looks like insane over black. So I'm excited to do that. And then I was like, okay, to my friend, I'm like, which polishes do you recommend I get? And she was like, well, Eclipse is like the red to black duochrome. And I'm like, okay, well, I don't have one of those. So I threw that in there and I, think that this is, I have bare nails right now, but I think this is what I'm going to put on next. So I'm going to pop that one onto the side so I don't forget. And then Tombstone, really light gray hollow. You know, I've talked about, I like to have a wide variety of like finishes of every color and I don't have a ton of crazy grays. So I was like, this naturally has to go in the cart. The next one that I picked out was Spellbound and actually I don't know if I picked this out. I think this is another one that my friend recommended. Her name is uh, Bookish Bariqua on Instagram. And I will link her down below. We did a twin Manny with these. And she always does this cool thing where she matches her nails to like a book or a background or a knife or all of those things. And she takes some really cool pictures. So I definitely recommend you go check her Instagram out. But we <laughs> did a twin Manny, like I said. She suggested we do it since we both ordered this polish. And she was like, maybe we should do some nail art. And I'm like, yeah, cool, sounds good. And we were gonna stamp over it. And I was like, let me test it first before we uh, go through in our manicures. And so I took my swatch photo of this plane and then I went and I stamped over it with silver because we thought, oh, maybe that'll be cool. Looks like Christmas. <laughs> I did um, Halloween stamping plates over it. And I'm like, this straight up just looks like Christmas. And I sent it to her and she was like, yeah, that's Christmas. So we didn't post that one, but I will show you that it does in fact look very Christmassy. It's like a Christmas Halloween, but yeah, it's a weird one. It's, it looks blue, but then it looks teal, but then it looks purple. It's really hard to track this one down. It's a, or, uh, as far as like what the color is. I don't think it's hard to find it. You can find it on the ILMP website. But yeah, this is a really cool one. And then the last one I picked out, it was not my intention to get a cream. I thought it had a fine shimmer running through it. I wasn't looking closely enough. I didn't even read the description because I was like, whatever, I know what I'm doing. And this is two piece. And this is a really vibrant neon pink. I have a lot of neon pinks. I didn't need this. But I love it anyways because I love a neon pink. So not mad about it. And I'm glad I got to try their cream formula as well. I got really, you know, five cool finishes and a cream. So I really got just like the whole like smorgasbord 
of finishes to try from ILMP. So then I saw that the advent calendars for Christmas had started to kind of come out from all kinds of brands. And I was checking them out because last year I did three unboxing and reviews of advent calendars. I did OPI, I did Ciate, and I did Cirque. And I didn't like this, the look of the OPI one this year. It looked exactly the same as last year. So I was just like, no, and OPI minis are really just a hassle to work with. So I skipped that one. But then I was looking at the Ciate one and the Cirque one, and I was just like, Maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't. I was kind of waffling back and forth. And my boyfriend was like, you need to invest in yourself. And I'm like, sir, this is a hobby thinly disguised as like a review. I don't know. Like this is a hobby. Okay. It's not an investment. All right. I, I get like, I get where he's coming from. He was like, I think he wants to see my channel grow and stuff like that. But I was like, at the end of the day, like that's a lot of money for a lot of minis. And then he was like, well, then I'm going to buy them for you. And I was like, no, you're not. And so then I bought, I bought them. Um, I did buy them. I bought the Ciate one, which is here. And I'm not going to show you the back because it has like all the spoilers on it. But the review is coming up for this. I'm just trying to take swatch photos for all of them. And I'm going to tell you, that's a lot of swatch photos. It's taking a while. Um, so that will be up probably the second week of November, I think. And then um, the Cirque one just hasn't come in yet. I know Kelly Marissa already has a review out on it, um, but I'm going to do one too. So I hope you guys watch it. Okay, and then my Glisten and Glow top coat was getting rather low. So I ended up buying the two ounce refill. Um, and then I figured, well, I'm already placing an order. What if I throw in a little extra? And since I love their top coat and I really enjoy their um, glitter grabber, I ended up just throwing in the prep and dry in my cart because... I figured why not give it a shot and so far I like it. I've been using it specifically for when I'm doing my swatch photos because I use a peel off base coat and this really helps to remove all that excess noil, noil, all that excess oil from your nail and then it makes it easier to peel off the base coat in my opinion, for me at least. And it also like instead of using the like acetone to dry out your nail plate, because I guess I could use a Q-tip, but like I, I would just put it on a cotton ball and I like rub it as if I'm like taking off nail polish. And then that dries out your cuticle too. And then they look really dry. And then you got to put oil on them before every single photo. And it's just a whole hassle. So this kind of just makes it a lot easier for me. Okay. And then Hello Taco had their birthday launch this year. It had a little bit more than last year. This time you had two polishes. And then there was a cleanup brush and a bag. And I only picked up the polishes because I have tons of cleanup brushes and um, a million bags. I didn't need another bag. So <laughs> I just got the polishes and we have frozen bananas, which is kind of a yellowy gold polish. Um, and this one, it's spelled like Ben, like B-E-N, bananas for her boyfriend. And then we have existential crisis, which is a color, I guess it's got kind of like a teal base, but it's got a lot going on in it. I couldn't even begin to describe it to you. It's got like red, orange. It's just a whole rainbow in the bottle here. I know people were really gunning for this one. A lot of people bought multiples. I bought one because I've gone through like 10 nail polishes in my whole life. I don't need multiples. But um, it came in a special edition box as well as frozen bananas came in a special edition box. Existential Crisis is a limited edition. It is sold out. It is gone. You can't get it anymore. Frozen Bananas is not limited edition. Just the box was. So when you buy it in the future, it'll just come in, I'm assuming, the plain black box that they do. But um, yeah, I got both of these. I haven't worn either of them yet. I do want to wear Existential Crisis soon. I think this one does look pretty cool. This one, I think, will be more maybe towards like New Year's or something like that. And then I got um, a pretty exciting email, honestly. A new brand called Moxie Nail Varnish reached out to me and they asked me if I wanted to try out their products and give them some feedback. And they told me it was fine if I did like a whole review and talked about their brand and stuff. So they sent me some nail polish and I'm not gonna go too in depth. I'm not gonna show you the swatch sticks or anything because Nah, this coming Saturday is when I'm going to post my review. So you can check that out there. I'm going to give you all the details of the brand. I'm really excited that brands are starting to, I guess, reach out to me and like ask for my opinions and things like that. So 
that's pretty cool. I was like absolutely thrilled about that. And I'm excited to bring you guys that review on Saturday. And then I got my color pass and I just posted a video on this on the 30th. Uh, you can go watch that for my full thoughts, but it came with these six polishes as well as an Orly Breathable. And like I said, I'm not going to harp on it too much now because I have my full review up on my channel and I will link that in the cards for you guys. So the last few things that I have to share with you guys are actually in transit. One of them might be in transit forever. I'm not sure. We'll see. But I placed an order with Live Love Polish because I don't know if you guys know this, but they are rebranding to Mooncat. And because of that, I'm guessing they had to like liquidate all their old stock. And so they had a massive sale and I ended up picking up a few and I will post some pictures up here. I bought another uh, SpongeBob collection. You can see this guy right here for my little sister because she also is obsessed with SpongeBob and she seems to be like getting into her nails ever since I gave her that gift. And so I figured, well, let me get her some SpongeBob polishes. And then I picked up one called Vaporize. It's like a greeny yellow multi-chrome. I got one called Rue Morgue, which is like a cool blue. It's like a matte, at least from the pictures. Maybe they put a matte top coat over it, but it looks like a flaky. We got Haunted Forest, which is like a green jelly -y flaky. And then Enchanted Mist, which is a gray flaky. Apparently I like flakies. However, I thought it was going to come in probably by today. So I was going to wait to film this video until it came in. But when I checked the tracking, this morning it said unable to deliver package damaged in transit um, and that UPS was reaching out to the carrier or not to the carrier to the um, supplier the shipper and so that leads me to believe that everything is destroyed or fell out of the box at some point and I'm never gonna get those polishes because I imagine everything is sold out at this point because they were like liquidating and so they're not going to have replacements for me. And so I'm probably just not going to get those, which kind of sucks. Um, I pulled up the tracking again. Now it has an estimated delivery of Saturday, October 30th by 7 p.m. But it also says unable to deliver. And I tried to contact UPS, but it's all just chat boxes. So I don't know what's going on. We'll see. I will let you know if they ever arrive. <laughs> and then finally, or no, not finally, but the last thing I purchased was um, I made a loud lacquer order because I wasn't initially going to, and they were having a really good sale and they are a brand I've always wanted to try. And I even mentioned this like three videos ago that I was like, ah, I wanted to, but I didn't. And I ended up ordering from Live Love Polish. You see how that went. But um, then Polish by AB, who if you, don't follow on Instagram, you should, because she does some really cool nail art, which this one here is my favorite by her, but I will link her down below. Go check her out. She messaged me and was like, you know, you really should <laughs> buy from the sale, get them while they're cheap, you know? And I was like, yeah, but I don't need to. And then I was like, you know what? Never mind. I'm going to do it. And so I placed an order and I bought four because it's the law that you have to buy the four of them so that it spells the word loud. And the sale was really good. I think it was 40% off, but I cannot remember, even though it's been like two and a half days since I ordered because my brain is just so frazzled. Um, but I'm going to show you the swatches of from the website. These are not my swatches, but just uh, from the website itself, these are how they display the polishes. And I got Julia, which is a jewel toned purple metallic and then i got extra credit which is a brown hollow which i think a few people actually recommended to me when i was talking about how i wanted brown hollows in another video so i picked that guy up and then i got away game which is like a is it terracotta it's like a i don't know if it's terracotta it's like an orangey red color and this one's just a cream but it looked like a really nice fall color, and so I was like, well, I could always use more fall polishes, right? No, I couldn't, but I bought it anyways. And then I bought Slater, which is like a gray, I think it's got like some uh, glitter in there. 
Um, I think it's a reference to, it says it's a reference to Saved by the Bell. I don't know what that is. I, I know it's a show. I didn't watch it. I don't, I don't have any basis for it, but I got the polish. I like the polish. So those were the four loud lacquers I got. And then another brand reached out to me asking me if I wanted to try some of their polishes. So I'm not going to say anything more about that other than hopefully a swatch and review for that will also be coming to you guys soon. I haven't received them in the mail yet. Um, but they said they were going to let me pick some out and then ship them out to me. So I'm just waiting to see what they look like. So I feel like I'm about to lose my voice. I've been talking so much. Um, that's everything that I got. Let me know down below. Did you guys get anything um, that I also picked up? Did you guys shop the Live Love Polish sale? Did you shop the Loud Lacquer sale? Do you get color pass? Are you going to do uh, any of the advent calendars? Just let me know. I like to talk to you guys. I don't care what it's about. I love when you guys reach out to me and chat with me and all that. And I just want to say again, just all at the end, thank you guys for using my code at Beyond Polish. I really appreciate it. And thank you guys for sticking around and watching me for so long. I'm getting really close to a thousand subscribers and I'm really excited. That's my goal by the end of the year is to hit a thousand. And I think I can do it. We'll see. But yeah, let me know down below, guys. What did you pick up in the month of October? And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.